Welcome back. This time we're going to talk about acceleration. And acceleration equals final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time. So it's really just talking about the change in velocity over time, and that equals acceleration. So best practices tell us that we should start by writing down all of our variables. So we have acceleration is a, v sub f for final velocity, v sub i for initial velocity, and then t for time. And if we go through and read through our problem up at the top, we can start to figure out some of our variables. In this case, we're asked that the flower pot starts from rest and hits the sidewalk 1.5 seconds later. So right away we know our time is 1.5 seconds. Let me just use S for seconds. With a velocity of 14.7 meters per second. That means we know what our final velocity was. It was 14.7 meters per second. And it says find the average acceleration of the flower pot flower pot, and that would be question mark. Well, we know that the initial velocity is zero meters per second because it starts at rest, and at rest there is no speed or no velocity. So we can just pretty much plug all these numbers into our equation. So let's just write our equation. A equals V sub F minus V sub I divided by T. And this, of course, V sub F equals 14.7 always adding in our units, minus zero meters per second, divided by our time, which is 1.5 seconds. So if we go through this, acceleration equals 14.7 meters per second, divided by 1.5 meters per second. I'm sorry, not meters per second, seconds. And let's see if it'll let me just do a little erase there. Ah, there we go. We'll grab our pen again, and it's 1.5 seconds. So therefore, if we go over here, we use our calculator, we could just plug in 14.7 divided by 1.5, which equals 9.8. So we get 9.8. And now we go meters per second squared, because you have seconds times seconds. So our acceleration is 9.8 meters per second squared. That's how you would do that problem. If we go to the next page, we see that it's the same sort of problem. So let's start with doing all of our variables. Mar Marissa's car accelerates. So A equals an average rate of 2.6 meters per second squared. Calculate how long it took, takes her car to speed up from 24.6 meters per second to 26.8 meters per second. That means that we know our V sub F, our V sub I, and our time is going to be our question mark because it asks us to calculate how long. So our final velocity was 26.8 meters per second. Our initial velocity is 24.6 meters per second. So if we go back to our equation, acceleration equals Vf minus Vi over T. By the way, this Vf minus Vi can actually be just done as delta V. And delta, which is this triangle symbol, just means change in. So this is the change in velocity. So we could just make it look like this. We need to isolate the t in this case and rearrange my equation. So if I remember correctly, we can multiply both sides times t. So at this point, I have then I can I have t a equals 
delta V times T. I'm sorry, times delta V. Where's my eraser? I'll just grab the eraser for a second. There it goes. Because the T's cancel out. We'll grab our pen. So we know what delta V equals. So delta V equals A divided by T. And we are looking for T in this case. So we are then going to divide both sides by A, and we're going to get T equals delta V over A. And in this case, delta V is VF minus VI. So we could plug those back in in case you forgot what delta V was standing for. And then we can just plug in all of our numbers that we have. VF happens to be 26.8 meters per second minus VI which is 24.6 meters per second and we take all of that and we divide it by the acceleration which is 2.6 meters per second squared if we grab our nice little calculator over here we can go 26.8 minus 24.6 and that gives us an answer of 2.2. 2.2 divided by 2.6 equals 0.8. So let's grab our. Okay. So now we have our time equals 0. Point. We have about three significant figures, so we're going to kind of go with those. 8, 4, 6 seconds. And we're just going to box our answers. And we are done in that case. Moving on to another acceleration problem. Let's just click to the next one. This time it says a cyclist travels at a constant velocity of 4.5 meters per second westward and then speeds up with a steady acceleration of 2.3 meters per second squared. So we can start adding in our Calculate the cyclist speed after accelerating for 5 seconds. So we know it's 5 seconds. And in this case, what we're really searching for is this velocity, the final velocity, because we know the initial velocity was 4.5 meters per second. And then we're calculating what was the velocity afterwards. So we're going to wind up rearranging the equation again this time. So we have our A equals delta v over t and we remember that delta means change so change in velocity so delta v actually we can put that up here delta v equals vf minus vi so one of the things i find easiest to do in this case is to first isolate the delta v and then go from there and expand out delta v so we can find v sub f so we're going to isolate this out by multiplying both sides by time again. These cancel out. So we're left with delta V, delta V equals A T. And we know that delta V is VF minus VI, which actually equals A times T. And then in order to just get the V, we're going to add VI to each side. So we finally get V sub F equals VI plus A times T. And then we're just going to plug in all of our different equations here, all of our different variables, all of our numbers. So we get 4.5 meters per second plus I'm just going to use parentheses, 2.3 meters per second squared times 5 seconds. And then we'll just get our nice little thing here. We'll do it in the correct order, right? We always do our multiplication before our addition. 2.3 times 5 equals 11.5. And then we're going to add to that our 
which gives us a total of 16. And we know that it's meters per second. So our V sub F is 16 meters per second.